I was browsing on the Great British Bushcraft group the other night and I was asking if anybody had a self-inflating mat for sale. So I got talking to somebody and exchanging PMs and he said he had one and he'd, he'd send, uh, sell me it. So through talking I was explaining that it was for, for Tyra, the little one, sorry, the nipper before I get told off. And uh, he very kindly uh, waived the fee and had me just pay postage and he said he stuck a couple of little surprises in there for her as well. So Tyra's going to do an unboxing. Uh, I'm just going to sit with her because she didn't really want to be on camera on her own. But, uh, huge thank you to Stephen Ailey. I think, I hope that's how you say it, dude. Um, huge thanks. Um, I can... I mean, she's been excited. She, she's seen it come earlier. And she's been uh, nagging me to open it. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Sticks. Yeah, glow sticks. Really cool. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, chem lights. We have something that's happening. I have no idea why you open it up and find out. There's two of them, whatever there is. Jacket, that's sweet. What is it, guys? Is, is, is it like a Gore-Tex material? A uh, lightweight waterproof jacket. It's like a Gore-Tex. I'll have to see if it fits your try it on. Just give me a second. Go on, you can carry on. Where is it? Oh, some pants. You got some pants as well? Yes, yeah, some blue outfit. What's this thing? I don't know, let's have a look at the pants. This oh. is a self inflating thing. I think I'm out with you. <laughs> They're not going to fit me, they definitely fit you. But yeah, it's a full suit. Might wait to move it. <laughs> right, so what's that self inflating mat? Yep. I'm not what else have you got in there? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Things. Oh, it's got the striker thing on it. The storm matches. The pink. They are amazing. Storm matches. What's that? Oh, I don't know. What's the what? Uh, I think it's a fishing kit. I think it. I didn't need the knife. Oh, wait, it might stay on there. I'm going to get this out first. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's kit. a fishing kit. That is awesome. It's like a little hand line. And there's a fly fishing kit. There's some flies in there, like loads. You've got knife. some shot and some hooks and line. This is cool. Right. It's actually quite into fishing as it happens, dude, so <laughs> bonus points. Yeah. A thing. Fire seal. Fire seal, that's what we can uh, get sparks with it. Don't miss one rabbit while you keep going. Yeah. <laughs> then we have a saw. A something. It says a saw. Look at heavy. Be careful when you open it. Right, hang on. Oh, it's, it's a bag inside a bag. Alright. How oh, the bloody hell has he done this? Securely so it didn't come out. Yeah. <laughs> careful, 
Oh, it's um, a hand, no, what do they call them? Bloody, not a chainsaw, or a, a wire saw or something like that. I can't remember the bloody name for it. But the, uh, do you like a pull? Yeah, you, it's like you kind of like that and it cuts through. Instead of taking a saw, you've uh, yeah, wire saw, that's it. Yeah, a wire wood. Other things might nicely melt in that one. What, like? So you, have, you know, you just like put the wood on the floor. Underneath and then, it? Yeah, and then. So like. Like that. But yeah, and then pull, no, pull it upwards. Pull it tight so that one's up there like that. Yeah, and then you like that. Oh, that's cool. It's a look. I like that. No, I like it all, but. That's pretty cool. So you can get a spark off that then. Jesus, how do you do that? Just a ferro? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's well easier than mine, isn't it? <laughs> And this is mine. Nice and easy. I think that comes out so you can turn it to maybe I don't I don't want to try and keep it break. And a self inflating mat. Which is gonna go in the hammock or the tent, depending on what you're sleeping in. So just put everything together so you can see it. Sort of a messy table. Messy's not, not good. So, my, my knife, which is already there. Just spread it all out and then I'll uh, just going to move the camera down, guys. Go on then, I'm just going to uh, open up the... Go get changed. Oh, you just put them on with these, aren't they? So the light doesn't. Uh, just, yeah, just stand there. Just stand room. there. Stand in the corner. I'll Hi, just sit with all my stuff. Go stand in the corner. In the corner. In the corner. Well, you can see the pink top. You can't really see the because of the light. Actually, give me a second. Set the camera off the stand. <coughs> right, come. Go stand actually over there. Oh, oh, she's even voguing for you, dude. But, uh, if it wasn't for the pink top, you wouldn't be able to see her. Ah. <laughs> one minute, one minute. Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. Right. Give me a second for the uh, light to adjust. Thank you. <laughs> now she's gone all shy and giggly now, dude. She doesn't know what to say. Um, just to the camera. Right. Absolutely blown away by your generosity, dude. Um, I mean, she had a tiny few things for her kit. I mean, she has a knife. She didn't have a sheath for it, so we kind of bodged something with duct tape and cardboard, but she has her own little... Going a bit rusty. Yeah, we need to clean it up. It's a little frost mora. Um, she's got that. She's got a pack. And now... Now I have some pink matches. 
She's pretty much got a full kit now, dude. Thank you. So, like, I'm blown away. I can't even imagine what she's feeling like. I don't think I think she can put it into words. <laughs> awesome. oh, yeah, she was giggling away before I put the camera on. I think she's a bit camera shy. But yeah, just a again, thank you very much, dude. Thank you a lot. Now I need to try this again. That's setting myself on fire. Bye.